Hello and welcome back to Almost Cooperative Space Engineers. Gum. Bye. I must go on my planet. I, uh, okay, well, I was planning to sort of use my. Oh, these come back. Okay. I, I, need, I need my gun. Oh. Give a gun. Right, I'll get in the cockpit. Right? Um, what I was saying was we landed on this planet, uh, well, this moon, and he's hope for finding uranium, and he's got his gun out. I can see that. Sure the sun. Oh, so now the yeah. moon is our friend and the sun's our enemy, is it? Even though it's yes. powering our ship and give us, keeping us alive. Yes. Anyway, as I was saying, we need uranium. So what I'm going to propose is that whilst you're off ganting about, see what you can find, I'm going to take the top solar panel off and put a merge block on there so that we can put a Big large, antenna. large detector. On, which will increase the range threefold. Um, so, what do we need to make a large ore detector? I have not a clue, but yeah, so far it's looking like it's just ice and stone so far. Which I'm pretty sure is the same as last time. Maybe it's been a while. <laughs> okay, right. Well, we need 20 detector components. And I did put some in storage before we left. How many did I put in is the question. We have nineteen. Hang on, we we've got we've got detector on board already. Hmm. So that's a small block once. So oops. Uh it said a small block. Detector had one detector component, isn't it? Did it? So yes, if we scrap the one we have on the ship now, we can build a large one. Cool. That sounds like a good place to start with then. Because all the other bits and pieces we can produce here, so I'm going to scrap this solar cell a minute. place because the other one's not built construction components I think we could do some stone we've got 11 kilos of stone left is that a hint by any chance um, not very subtle but yes hello hello we haven't had our usual greeting no uh, that's cheating. Help. That's cheating. No. I'll need cheat. I'll need losers complain. Don't shoot my windscreen. It's got a bullet hole in it. No, it's got a crack in it. I can't see where I'm going. Don't worry, it buffs right out, see? Not on my side, it doesn't. <laughs> oh. I've acquired one still plate. <laughs> See what I do for a minute. I'm hoping this is going to work. If not, we're a bit scuppered. Mm. <laughs> oh, I need another, another small steel tube. Yes, the hunt for uranium. No, not that lucky so far. Oh no, I can't produce small steel tubes. Can you not? No, I can't find them anywhere. In the build menu. Basic tools in gods. Yeah, uh, so we can't do that anyway. Darn it. Oof. Hmm. We're near ice, so we got a choice really. We can either. I'm out for now. I don't know if you can see on your side, I'm just floating in midair because I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, I can, yes. I'm, I'm sure I can jetpack out of it, but that's not fun. Anyway, I was saying we could either um, search for on the moon or 9.77 clicks out, there's a space pirate mining transport. We could go in, um, pick a fight. Mug him. Yeah, let's go mug him. That's what I, I was thinking. A good idea. Yeah, do you reckon? Yes. Yes. Right, I'm going to put a GPS uh, down for here so we know we're definitely where ice is near us. Right, that'll do. 
Oh, no, don't shoot me. <sighs> Sounds like a coward to me, but okay. I should probably turn off, turn them off as well for the time being in case they shoot anything. Which of course is what we're going to do, but you know, don't want to do the job for me. No, definitely not. Right, just gonna orientate us towards it. I will get to about one kilometer and I will probably slow down there so we can have a look before we get in within range. All right. Yep. Weapons on it. Hmm. And that's our first target, it's the weapons. After that, we'll go for the engines. Hopefully we can stop him and board him and strip him. Oh my. I thought yes. this was a family friendly channel. I don't mean strip him figuratively as in take his clothes off, I mean strip him off because there won't oh. be anybody, anybody on board. Okay, that's that's a lot more family friendly then. Yeah. I mean strip the ship of anything we can find, especially reactors and uranium. I I, I just thought that might have been part of the whole economy update, you know? Uh yeah, but these these are space pirates. So, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, they're red. They're en they're enemies to us. <gasps> Better dead than red. That's what I've heard. This is it, see? So... It looks like maybe there's just two... Right, two gas and two oh, he's jumped. Oh. Oh. He's just jumped out. Never Damn mind. it! Didn't want to talk to him anyway. Uh... Right. That's why I'm going to stop and I'm going to see if there's anything else within range. Let's find someone else to mug. Yes, exactly. Well, there's nobody around us at the moment. We're completely on our own. Is that fun? Uh, I don't know how far we, how close we need to get to the space base to trigger the event. Hmm. But I'm sort of tempted to think, hopefully something interesting in that direction. Hmm. I'm going to say sure, why not? And if we come across another space pirate then we'll have on a, the way there then on the way there. Shooty, shooty, bang bang yes if worse comes to worse we are sort of heading in the direction of home so we mm. could land back on the base and make modifications there or build a larger ship right. one second uh, I'll tell you what you're the gunner seat let's swap seats all right all you got to do is well, for the time being, just keep us stationary. And I'll have a look. I, I will not touch anything then. <laughs> well, you, we're going to be basically flying in a straight line anyway, so... Mm. I just thought it would be easier just for us to swap around. There's nothing on that one over there. And I've got no line of sight on any other asteroid, so we go forward. Hang on a minute, what's that? Uh, uh, they're better out of yeah, better out of draw distance really to be able to get any detail on them. Okay, mm. let's go forward, sir. Oh, that's too far. Mm. Right, there's an asteroid in front of us. Head towards that. Because I can see what one asteroid. There's that one. There's that yeah. one. No, it's the small one that we're after. It's the small one we're after. Does that help me? I'm not, me? I'm not like sure, but at extreme range of the camera, I saw something dark on the asteroid. Which hopefully is uranium. Mm. I may be wrong. It's okay. difficult to tell because the light was glinting off of it, but it definitely looked dark. -er. Would it be would it be easier to tell now? As we get closer, yes. The spinning as well. Yeah, but that doesn't help. Oh, how dare you? Yes. So that would be funny. Because we've got down to ninety eight percent now. Well you you may think it's funny, I'm getting rather seasick back here. <laughs> uh if I was you I'd keep the eye on the asteroid. We've got a tendency I don't want to particularly run into it, thank you. <laughs> oh god, coward. Oh there's an asteroid there, we can run into it if you want this stuff. No, at least run into the right one, will you? Why did I ever let you get into the bloody pilot seat? <laughs> we
Do you want me to land on the asteroid or should I just leave it hanging? No, no. I'm getting out at the minute. I'm going to go and have a look with the drill. What? So do you not trust my driving or something? Not really. No. Understandable. I've also powered the ship down for now, so it shouldn't be cool. going anywhere. This isn't raining, though. It's just stone. Yeah, there's nickel, actually. Oh, nickel. So we'll, we'll, grab a bit of, we'll grab a bit of that. Tang, you just got nickel and diamond. Yes. <laughs> yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. If you say so. Yeah, funny. I knew I was going to regret this. <sighs> you do understand I'm looking for the gun. And all I can yes. see is things going past it over a high rate of knots. Yes. Why do you ask? Including two planets, by the way. Yeah. I'm pretty sure one of those planets is Earth. Oh. I suppose it's not Earth, is it? It's just kind of a planet. Well, there's the moon, and there's, yeah, yeah a planet. The moon and the Earth. Earth like. I'm going to call it Earth 2. Right, stop, 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 stop. Go back, 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 back. There's two asteroids I can scope out. I ah, mean, those ones over there? No, the other way. That one? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in the gun camera, so I'm looking at a totally different one to you. Oh, oh wait, now you mean those? Yes, those. Right. See, I knew my... Stay see, still, stay still. Spinning's good for something, I'm telling you. Yeah, it makes it very hard to keep the asteroid in view, though. <laughs> yeah, minor details. Well, one's within visual range, and I can make out quite a bit of detail, but I can't see anything on it. The other one's still out of range a little bit. It's quite blobby. Get a bit closer then, shall I? Yeah, move up. You've got plenty of time. Just keep an eye on the fuel. We'll head back to the moon and regas if we need to. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that while I'm zoomed in. <laughs> Serpentine, it's called strategy in case the pirates sneak up on us. There's another asteroid over there to our right. Yes, I'll go in, as long as you don't fiddle around too much, I'll go and have a look. Uh, do you want me to stop the ship now or something like that? Or? No, he's still a little bit blobby actually. He's still a little bit out of range. Do you want me to get closer to that asteroid in particular, or are we going to go to these to check out and then go from there? Well. It's difficult to say. So I'm getting a bit dispirited about finding nothing on these asteroids. Hmm. Which sort of tends me. To be... I mean, it shouldn't be this hard to find something. Hmm. We seem to have had exceptionally bad luck. Yes. I mean, the only way we're going to know really is to actually go to them. Hmm. But we need to keep an eye on the fuel. We're alright at the moment, we've got 90% left, so we're fine at the moment. And five hours of electricity, so when you park her this time, park her so that the solar panels are exposed to the sun as much as possible. So ah. twist the ship, up, you know, left or right, so the solar panels get the maximum amount of sunlight, mm. just to keep that battery charge up a bit. Because it says we've got. Five hours left. Alright. Is he a good for parking? Uh, just parking nearby. Uh, you know, don't actually have to park or actually on the asteroid. Save I a know. bit of fuel by not landing. That's what I'm saying. Is he a good? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Bang the dirt towards bit, the A little bit closer time. would have been nicer. Fine. You know, sort of where I am, there's a smallish asteroid below me. This looks like a cluster of smallish ones. So if you sort of come towards me a bit, that should be about ideal distance, I think. It's close enough yet far enough not to worry. Right, I'll investigate this one first. I don't have my uh, very high hopes for this rock, I must admit. Neither do I, really, I'll be honest. There's no, you, nothing here at all. I've been around the complete sun side now. You know, it's going to one down for a quick look. I certainly couldn't find anything, so...
Yes. I also seem to have lost the ship a little bit. Oh, there we go. Never mind. It's directly behind me. Yeah, I'm coming up towards you now. Yeah, I can't see anything here. So I guess we head in the general direction of the uh, thing, yeah. I just hope we will find something along the way. Just looking at this little asteroid, there's nothing there. Oh! I can fly. Yeah, I'll let you drive this time. I was trying to see if it, because I thought I saw something weird, but no, it's just more asteroids, very lumpy asteroids that don't look like they really had anything on them. Which is why I hopped in the in the do it. Oh well. Okay, well I'm just gonna shut it down. And save like as much power and fuel as we possibly can. So Mr. Sir Isaac Newton is now in the driving seat. Going at a cool chill, twenty miles per hour. Yeah, I suppose but I could speed us up a little bit, couldn't I? Wow. So far, I'm personally not seeing anything now. We describe as a. Uh, yeah. Normally, you get an idea. You can door. see dark markings, but I mm. can't even see any from the view I got from space, so. Mm. I was going to say, in spots to me that look like the dark are just shadows from the looks of it, so yeah. it's in the um, you know, dark side. Yes. On the dark side. Yes, quite. We're not going directly towards this space base, we're sort of going in this general direction. Hmm. Oh, we got a con that jumped out again. There's a contact behind us, but oh, it's yeah. 16 Mayday. clicks out. Hmm. Have you still got it on your s yours? Yeah, that's still got Because it's gone off one. Find a couple of warning shots. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I wonder what's going I'm, on then. I'm sure they'll get them in about 14 clicks time when they're not there. Which direction are they? Because I can't see them. Uh, I think they'll know. No, they're gone from mine now. They've gone too far away. Oh right. Okay. Well, they, they, were thir they were basically thirteen clicks away to directly below us. Okay. Well, we'll go back to our sort of plan then. Hmm. Yeah, it just popped up on mine again. It's 13.34 clicks out, so it's like, yeah. That's weird, because it's weird though, well, because I am gone. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see Very you in the next fun. episode when we might actually find something. You never know. Our luck might be in, and we might actually find something. I'm jiggling the mouse around too much. I don't like that asteroid. No, nah, you don't like that asteroid. No. Well,. I would recommend that you save the ammunition for when we do actually need it. Nah. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Until then, take care.